Hysteria and Persecution Unveiling the Darkness of the Crucible Arthur Miller's The Crucible, a historical allegory published in 1953, remains a powerful and disturbing exploration of mass hysteria, mob mentality, and the dangers of unchecked accusations. Set in Salem, Massachusetts, during the 1692 witch trials, the play exposes the darkness that can lurk within seemingly ordinary communities when fear and suspicion take hold. A Community on the Brink The play opens in a time of social unrest and religious fervor. Salem villagers grapple with anxieties about illness, societal change, and Native American threats on the frontier. These anxieties create a fertile ground for suspicion and accusations of witchcraft. A Catalyst for Chaos Abigail Williams' Deception The play's central conflict is ignited by Abigail Williams, a manipulative young woman seeking revenge on Elizabeth Proctor, the wife of her former lover, John Proctor. Feigning illness and accusing others of witchcraft, Abigail sets off a chain reaction of accusations and hysteria. John Proctor, a man caught in a web of lies. John Proctor, a complex and flawed protagonist, is initially reluctant to intervene. However, guilt over his past affair with Abigail compels him to reveal the truth. His intervention, however, backfires as Abigail twists his words to further incriminate him and his wife, Elizabeth. The Crucible of Accusation The Courtroom as a Stage The courtroom scenes in The Crucible are a chilling portrayal of mob justice. Judge Danforth, consumed by a desire to maintain order and uphold religious authority, prioritizes confessions over evidence. Accusations become self-perpetuating, with the weight of public opinion silencing dissent and fueling the flames of hysteria. The Power of Fear and Reputation The play explores the devastating power of fear and the fragility of reputation. Characters like Giles Corey, a respected farmer, are crushed by the weight of accusations, while others, like Mary Warren, a young servant, succumb to pressure and become complicit in the witch hunt. The Crucible of Conscience John Proctor's internal struggle forms the moral core of the play. He wrestles with his conscience, torn between protecting his wife and his own good name. Ultimately, he chooses to confess his affair with Abigail, an act of integrity that exposes the hypocrisy and manipulation at the heart of the witch trials. A Timeless Tragedy Relevance in the Modern Era Despite its historical setting, The Crucible remains relevant today. The play serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers of blind faith, mob mentality, and the ease with which fear can be manipulated for personal gain. The parallels between the Salem Witch Trials and McCarthyism, a period of anti-communist suspicion in the United States, solidify the play's enduring message. Themes to Explore Mass Hysteria and Mob Mentality The play explores how fear and suspicion can quickly escalate into mass hysteria, leading to the persecution of innocent people. The Dangers of Accusation The Crucible highlights the devastating impact of unfounded accusations, particularly when fueled by personal agendas and a lack of due process. The Importance of Integrity John Proctor's struggle for truth and his ultimate act of defiance serve as a reminder of the importance of standing up for what is right, even in the face of overwhelming pressure. The Fragility of Reputation The play exposes the ease with which reputations can be tarnished in a climate of fear and suspicion. The Abuse of Power The play critiques The abuse of power by authority figures who prioritize personal gain or the preservation of order over justice and truth. A Legacy of Impact The Crucible continues to be a cornerstone of American drama. Its powerful themes, memorable characters, and timeless message resonate with audiences worldwide. The play serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can reside within seemingly ordinary communities and the importance of critical thinking, courage, and the pursuit of truth. (laughs) ¶¶